Regarding uh, the uh, Olympic package, you, you intimated inside the other room that the broadcasting rights, the host broadcaster and the package they get, could have an influence on whether the NHL goes to Sochi or not. How big an influence, how heavy a uh, weight are you going to put on that decision as to who is the host broadcaster? Actually, there, there are two things I want to respond to on that. One, um, how we're going to be carried, how we're going to be promoted is obviously something that's important. If we're going to disappear for, for over the better part of two weeks, if not longer, we need to make sure that it's worth it, particularly if you're in a place where the time zone puts you eight hours ahead of the East Coast of North America, which means our games over there in Sochi would be played, I don't know, between four in the morning and two in the afternoon. Secondly, and, and this is a concern as well, when, when you're in North America, the North American broadcasters get priority on scheduling. Uh, when you're in Europe or outside of North America, the host broadcaster there gets priority. We have to make sure, if we're going to go, that the games among the teams that matter for our North American viewing audience are being televised at a time that makes sense. Because if, if the end determination, because of whatever protocols are put into effect, that all of our games are on at 4 o'clock in the morning, then I think it would be a, a, a long stretch for anybody to think it would be a good idea to shut down for the better part of two weeks to get that kind of treatment. We, we need to know more about everything that's going to affect how these games are played so that we can make an intelligent decision as to whether or not under all of the circumstances it's worth it. You can start from the premise that being in North America, being in Salt Lake City and Vancouver is clearly an easier decision to make than when you're halfway around the world.